Number 21. A triply charged uranium-235 and uranium-238 ions are being separated in a mass spectrometer. The much rarer, blah, blah, blah. Okay. The masses of the ions are 3.9 times 10 to the minus 25 kilograms and 3.95 times 10 to the minus 25 um, kilograms, respectively. Not even sure if I said that right. And they travel at 3 times 10 to the 5 meters per second in a 0.25 Tesla field. What is the separation between their paths when they hit a target traversing a semicircle? All right. So, please watch number 20 if you are interested in figuring out or identifying how this problem actually works. All right? I'm literally going to repeat myself verbatim if I explain this again. And, um, you know, for my sanity, um, I'm just going to... Uh, uh, bypass that because it's literally going to be the same discussion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the formula from there and we're just going to calculate it from there. But if you want to know why it works or how it works or, uh, you know, if the problem changed a little bit so you're not, you know, up the creek without the paddle, so to speak, watch 20. Now, uh, the uh, to find the distance here, the distance will be equal to 2, will be equal to 2 times the radius of the larger minus 2 times the radius of the smaller all right, in terms of mass. So here the larger one is going to be 238. So the radius then is going to be, um, I'm going to use the formula over here for radius of a charged particle in an electric field, uh, excuse me, in a magnetic field. That's going to be the mass of the larger, the mass of the larger times then the velocity of the larger divided then by the charge of the larger times the magnetic field. Okay, minus then two times the mass of the smaller times the velocity of the smaller divided by the charge of the smaller times the magnetic field. All right. Now, if we notice, I'm going to highlight some things that are staying constant here. All right. The velocity is staying constant. That is not changing for either of them. The charges are staying constant because they basically said they're both triply charged and the magnetic field is also staying constant. And if you notice, these both terms have a factor of two in common. So what we can do is if we wanted to, factor all those out. So it's going to be 2 times the velocity divided by the charge times the magnetic field. Now, multiplied then by the mass of the larger minus the mass of the smaller. All I did was I factored, right, there's really two terms here. There's a term here, and there's a term here. And all I did now, instead of writing anything in blue there, I just have the mass of the larger. Everything in blue I factored out, and that's just the mass of the smaller. Okay, and here's kind of your formula, if you wanted just a bare bones formula. But, all right, for curious minds, check out number 20, right? You don't want to be the uncurious one, do you? So here, we're just simply going to have to plug it in. So this is 2 times the velocity that was given. So there's going to be 3 times 10 to the 5th. All right, and then uh, divided them by, sorry, I was thinking about... How the problem might change. If the problem changes here, if it's a semicircle, this is the formula, okay? But if it ain't a se if it's not a semicircle, <laughs> you're going to be up the creek without the paddle. This is not the formula to use. Then you might say, well, what is the formula to use? I don't know. All right? I would not do it this way. I would do it as I'd done in 20, okay? And uh, if you understand that, I can ask you basically probably anything about a path, a quarter of a circle now instead, all right? So anyway, um, the charge here in the pro it says it's triply charged. So what that means is that you're going to take three and you're going to multiply it by the elementary charge of 10, it's 1 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th, right? Something with three protons or three electrons has the same magnitude. It would be, this is the charge of a proton or, or an electron, right? The magnitude. So just take three and multiply it by that. That would be the charge, total charge of a particle that has three elementary particles on it. Uh, then uh, the magnetic field is 0.25. The mass of the larger is this one, right? 3.95 times 10 to the minus 25th minus then 3.90 times 10 to the minus 25th. All right, good enough. Now let's plug it all in. So this is going to be 2 times 3 times 10 to the 5th divided then by parenthesis 3 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th times 0.25. I'm going to get my answer there, and then I'm going to take that, which is 5 times 10 to the 24th, 
and then I'm going to multiply it by now, parenthesis, 3.95 times 10 to the minus 26, oops, 25th, minus then 3.9 times 10 to the minus 25th. And what do we get? We get now a distance here, 0 0.025 meters, or about 2.50 centimeters, right? Maybe another zero there, it doesn't matter, you know. You can do the conversions as, as, as you might need. All right, and then, um, yeah, so that's that. And then letter B, it says discuss whether discuss whether the distance between the paths seems big enough to be practical in the separation of, uh, yeah, I mean, 2.5 centimeters is, I think, reasonable. Okay, anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I'll see you uh, soon, okay? Take care.